Time for the second semi-final. This is Indus and Bank presents Cheer for Greatness. I've got Anil Kumble and Matthew Aiden with me. Time to pick your favourites for this one and a player to watch out for. Should we go with him first or should we <laughs> yeah, just no, why skip it? Why don't you just let him need me a bit? Yeah, come on Anil, give me your favourite team and player to watch out <laughs> yeah, I, for. Please say South for, Africa. I know. For, for, all the years, <laughs> for, all, for all the years that we have seen in this World Cup, Australia have been dominating throughout mm. So many World Cups, so I want to go with South Africa. I would mm. want to see a South <laughs> African team in the final for the first time. Mm. All right. Yeah. Look. I'll, well, I can build a good case for both, actually. <laughs> uh, batting, ba batting, mm. batting wise, I, I, I feel that South Africa are well and truly favourites to win that competition. I just think that uh, Mitchell Stark, in particular, in fact, Pat Cummins and Josh Hazelwood, all three haven't made the kind of impact that you'd expect from a fast bowling trio that are as good as what they are in this World Cup. They have not swung the ball and they've travelled inside that power play and that's where, as we know, the games are really set up in finals in and around how you get off to a good start. Mm -hmm. South Africa, on the other hand, have made impact in that power play as well, which has been important for them. The other factor is it's turning a little bit yeah. and Shamsi, I think, you know, will make a difference right. um, even though we've got a counteract with that with Zampa. You know, so you can make good cases for, for both teams. Give me your teams. favourite haters. Come on, give me your favourite team. Well, I just feel like Anil said that, that Australia has got that, that toughness around tournament sort of plays. Mm. You know, we've been there, we've done it. We rarely lose, you know, semi-finals or finals for that matter. Yep. You know, that's why there is this sort of sense of, of purpose around the pointy end of the stick of this tournament. So right. I'm going to go Australia. Right. Player to watch out for, Anil Kumble. Yeah, for me, Quinton de Kock. I think, uh, you know, for South Africa, he's been their mainstay. And we have seen that, you know, throughout this tournament, uh, for India, you've had the mainstays come and perform. Mm -hmm. So if South Africa have to go to the final, uh, Quinton de Kock. The other advantage, <coughs> perhaps, for South Africa is also they've played at the Eden Gardens. Yeah. Uh, and they are aware of the conditions. Uh, so, so I would certainly look at Quinton de Kock to be the key guy. It was player. Uh, for, for Australia, I, I really sense that it's got to be done up top. Um, so Dave and, and Mitch Marsh, you know, they're, they're two, you know, real key players for us. Mm. Um, through the centre, I feel, um, for South Africa, you know, with the bat. You know, Aidan Markram, you know, hasn't had the biggest of World Cups, but he is such an impactful player. Yeah. So uh, there's a couple of names. All right. Thank you very much, Hedos and Anil. Let's hear from Vignesh Basu now, who says a cracker of a contest, this. And he's supporting the Proteas. They deserve to win this match and go on to win their first ever World Cup. Woof, they might have woof. to beat one or two words. teams on the way. Uh, <laughs> mm. but, but nice to see your passion for the South African team, Vignesh mm. Basu. Thank you for that. And thank you to Anil Kumble, Matthew Aden. This was Indus and Bank presents Cheer for Greatness for the second semi-final.